The most commonly recognized area of the kitchen associated with cleaning and sanitizing is the machine dishwasher. The machine dishwasher is important to the entire operation. When handled properly, tableware will sparkle, life of wear is extended, and food can be served safely, making the entire operation look flawless. On the other hand, when done poorly, the reputation of your facility suffers and the risk of contaminated food increases. As part of the food service sanitation team, this is the last line of defense for your customers and your operation. The mechanical cleaning of tableware in the dish machine utilizes the same basic principles of wash clean, rinse clear, and sanitize safely. Here though, the work is done primarily inside the dish machine. Your job is to make sure that ware is properly prepared prior to entering the dish machine. Dish machines come in many shapes and sizes, and the process in which they clean will differ slightly. Follow the specific procedures necessary for that model. Regardless of the machine type or model, there are basic procedures that are common to every machine dishwashing operation. Procedures specific to low energy dish machines, which are present in many locations, will be described later in this section. The interior of the machine and the stainless steel tables leading into and out of the machine should be clean prior to starting. If curtains are required, ensure that they are properly placed and secure. Check the upper and lower wash arms for any food particles or foreign objects that are lodged into the jets. Also, check the end caps and flanges to ensure that each is secure. The final rinse jets are very narrow and should be checked for any mineral buildup that may restrict the final rinse water spray. If clogged, a paper clip can be used to clear any blockage. Check the bottom of the machine for any flatware or other objects that may have fallen into the tank. Anything on the tank floor can clog the drain or damage heating elements. Now, replace the scrap trays. Be certain these trays are in their proper position. Scrap trays help to keep the wash water clean and prevent any objects from falling into the tank. With the curtains, scrap trays and wash arms in place, Close all tank drains and pull open all fill valves. If your machine has an automatic fill, you must ensure that all drains and doors are closed to activate filling. Once the tank water has reached the level where the heating elements are completely submerged, turn the wash tank heater switch to on. The booster heater switch for the final rinse should also be in the on position. While the machine tanks are filling, Check the automatic dish machine detergent and rinse additive containers. If either needs to be replaced, do so by reading the specific instructions for that product. If you are unsure of how to replace these products, contact your supervisor. Allow tanks to fill and water to reach their appropriate tank temperatures. The required temperatures for machine dishwashing will be in the following ranges depending on the local public health regulations. The scrapper or pre-wash 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. Wash tank 140 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 to 74 degrees Celsius. Power rinse 165 to 175 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 to 79 degrees Celsius. Final rinse 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit or 82 to 90 degrees Celsius. Depending upon make and model, your machine could have one or all of these temperature requirements. Check with your supervisor to find which temperatures pertain to your operation. Now that all tanks are filled, the temperatures are at their proper levels, and the cleaning chemicals are set, you're ready to receive the dishware. As part of your machine setup, prepare a cleared area near the machine for the sorting of dishes and a bus pan for pre-soaking flatware. With this area designated for soiled wear coming in from the dining room, you can efficiently pre-scrap and rack the wear that needs to be cleaned. Good machine practices begin with proper bussing procedures. Coordinate your pre-scrapping and sorting system with the bussers and servers. Place a sample of each piece of wear on the stainless steel table. 
glass racks for each type of glass, and a bus pan for pre-soaking flatware in your designated sorting area. As ware is bussed toward the sorting area, it can be pre-scrapped and sorted accordingly. This is commonly referred to as the decoy system. This will provide an organized operation that will make racking easier and significantly reduce the amount of confusion, mess, and broken wear. Racking the various types of wear is very important for effective washing. It is important that all surfaces be exposed to the wash and rinse spray pattern inside the dish machine. Glass and dishware will be properly cleaned and sanitized if you place like sizes together, do not stack or overlap, rack dishes uniformly, and rack glasses with drinking end down. Flatware and silverware require special racking and processing procedures and will be covered later in this program. Pre-rinse each rack using a T and S hose or similar sprayer and this will significantly reduce the amount of soil in the wash tank and ultimately improve final results. After pre-rinsing, the rack is ready to be run through the dish machine. If using a conveyor, place the front end of the rack at the point where the conveyor pegs will begin to pull the rack through the machine. Pushing the rack too far will reduce the washing time. If using a door machine, place the rack completely into the machine and close the door prior to starting. If using a flight type machine, simply place the racks onto the pegs. Once the dish machine cycle is initiated, each rack will automatically be washed clean, rinsed clear, and sanitized safely. Create an organized flow of wear to best utilize the machine's wash and rinse sections as efficiently as possible. When the cycle ends, or as racks and dishes exit the final rinse section, allow a few seconds for air drying. Glass racks should be shaken and then tilted on the edge of the table to allow excess water to run from the top surface of the glass. Once the ware is dry, it needs to be returned to storage or service. While unloading racks, always hold plates and glasses by their edges and take the opportunity to inspect for overall cleanliness, chipped plates or cracked glasses. If any damaged ware is found, it should be removed from service. After all the ware has been processed and placed in storage, it's time to break down the dish machine and thoroughly clean the dish machine area. First, turn all tank heater switches to the off position and lift all doors to release any steam buildup inside of the dish machine. With all the tank heaters off, you can open all drain valves to empty the tanks. While the tanks are draining, Remove all the curtains and clean thoroughly by using detergent and a brush in the three compartment sink area. Be certain to lift each flap while cleaning these curtains to get at any and all trapped soils. Rinse thoroughly with a sprayer or TNS hose and lay over the edge of a stainless steel table to air dry. Prior to removing the scrap trays, Hose down the inside of the machine to remove any large food particles from behind wash arms and residue from machine walls. Now, remove scrap trays and empty all large food particles into a garbage can or receptacle. Thoroughly clean each tray with detergent and a scrub brush in the three compartment sink area and replace back into the machine. Carefully remove the upper and lower wash arms. Clear all food particles and foreign objects from each jet. This can be done by removing the end caps from each arm and poking through each jet with a toothpick or spraying with a TNS hose. Each wash arm should be cleaned in the three compartment sink area, then placed back into the dish machine. When replacing arms, make sure that end caps are secure and arms are in their proper position. If using curtains, Place them back in the machine in their proper location once they have dried. Remember, short curtains go between tanks. Long curtains go at each end of the dish machine. With the machine cleaned and ready for the next shift, clean stainless steel tables and pre-scrapping area with the approved detergent sanitizer. Low energy dish machines work on a somewhat different principle than the high temperature machines described up to this point and have different cleaning needs. 
First, remove the drain screen and clean it thoroughly. Remove the drain stopper. Make sure there's nothing blocking it. Look at the upper and lower spray arms to ensure they are not clogged. If they are clogged, remove them and clean thoroughly. Reinstall the drain screen and the stopper. Wipe down and polish the machine. Clean and sanitize all of the work tables, shelves, walls and floors in the dish machine area. Many restaurants also have glass washers for use in the bar area. A couple of points are important in delivering clean glassware from a bar glass washer. First, it is not a garburator. Get rid of the fruit, straws and napkins. Ashtrays don't go in the glass washer. Second, it is important to check the detergent, rinse aid and sanitizer containers regularly to ensure they are not empty. Lipstick is always a problem and should be wiped completely off before the glass goes in the washer, otherwise it just gets baked on.